Hi, love it. So nice to meet you. So nice to meet you. Uh, congrats on the series. Your your character really, uh, your character is a heartbreaker. I mean, I feel for her so much. So the the first thing I want to ask you is like, okay, playing these characters, a, a character like Mary who experiences such mistreatment can be uh, emotionally challenging. And I once heard this actor describe the, the, how physical and uh, emotionally draining parts can weigh on you because, of course, your body doesn't know that you're acting, so it stays with you. So in your case, how do you approach a role like this that, uh, from an emotional aspect, and how do you prepare for that? I, I think for me, I do have an, uh, a very strong understanding of um, oppression and just like the feelings that the or just how the world treats people that look a certain way so I'm very aware of that so it is very easy for me to disassociate sometimes so it wasn't too hard to step away from Mary no matter how like heartbreaking it was because if anything just because Mary existed is the reason why I'm able to tell a story in like complete fullness you know what I mean? Just to have that freedom. So it, it was it was it was intense playing her. But yeah, it wasn't too hard to come back to self. How do those kind of scenes go like before and after the yell cut? How is the interaction with your counterparts when it comes to these kinds of scenes? Mm -hmm. um, well, uh, with exa uh, for example, like with my scene with Anthony Boyle I do feel like when you're acting there's so much like rationalizing going on you're like mm -hmm. okay how would somebody respond to like maybe a blink that looks like that <laughs> or like so it's very like you know like tedious so it's more so like trying to make this picture out of like all of these little puzzle pieces in like three minutes time and just trying to just really try to make like perfect it really just to show humanity because I also feel like Mary was given a chance in this show to have humanity and to have like questions in her head and to see things mm -hmm. and to respond to things too. So it was fun like doing that and having scenes with people like Anthony or Matt where we could just like fully just like explore. You know how they, they well nowadays they have like uh, sex coordinate, uh, coordinators for these uh, sex scenes and everything. Is there any, is does that exist when it comes to, to these topics or mm -hmm. is that like kind of a nuance? Yeah, well they did provide like, uh, Monica did provide like somebody that I can talk to just in case things did get too deep and stuff like okay. that. Um, so they do have, like, people for, like, your, you know, your mental over here just to make sure that you're feeling safe because even though it's not a, a sexual scene with another person, it is you becoming completely, like, vulnerable in a space. So it was That's very amazing. Nice yeah. Yeah, because I've I've heard that I think it was Ava DuVernay that uh, had previously done that in other in, on her sets, mm -hmm. and I thought, wow, that that is amazing. That's mm -hmm. such a uh, necessity uh, in, in on sets for for these topics. Mm -hmm. So, how did this part come to you? How, how did uh, you get? Did you have to audition? Was it mm -hmm. offered? How did it go? Yeah, so I auditioned for it, and then it was a self tape, and then um, eventually Monica reached out, and then I booked it, and it was it was nice. It, it happened pretty fast. <laughs> You're pretty young. So um, uh, are you used to these self-tapes or, mm -hmm. uh, or are you more used to maybe in-person uh, auditioning? I'm used to both, you know, now both. that we've lived now that we live in a post-pandemic, post-strike mm -hmm. world. So I've done in-person and self-tapes. And so just, yeah. Well, thank you so much. You're, you, you've you done such an amazing job. And like I said, I feel for your character. I love her so much. So thank you and congrats. Thank you.